Many of us run after other people that we assume are better than us. A lot of us think we are nothing. And we admire people that in the real sense of the word, we are better and greater than when we look inward. Now it's not about competition, but then uh, it's become so important that we realize that in all of us, there is a measure of light that God himself has put inside of us. Light exists in every human being. We all need to do is to kindle it. Some of us have remained so deemed that we don't even know that we have that light. And that's why we keep looking at someone else to put some light into our life. You're so gifted that you think uh, just because you have one talent, you assume that the one that has three, four, five that you can see has better talent than you. Or the truth of it, that one talent that you have is such a light that can illuminate the entire darkness of the world that when compared, you find out that those other talents that that other person you respect has would be something little compared to yours. You need to shine your light. You need to understand that your light also needs to be lit because individually, if we do not light, someone else's light might not be enough for you. A lot of times I've had to deal with this issue. When I was growing up as a young girl, I look at people and I admire them and I wish I was like them. Some of them, something would tell me right inside my spirit that I have a better one inside of me to accomplish more than them. But because they have already achieved, I am assuming already, I've defeated myself and I'll tell myself, would it ever happen? But you know, I'm grateful that today I had people that always would speak to me and encourage me and tell me that there is something much more than I think I have. I'm grateful always when I remember my father that would look at me beyond my skin type, that people would talk to me about. You know, people look at me and say, you're dark. And I wonder at some point, I was wondering, I said, okay, if I'm this dark, would people ever accept me? Because I wanted to become a newscaster on television. I wasn't really interested in the radio, much as I know that broadcasting was also a combination. And so I began to tell myself, I began to tell my brain that, look, your limit is just the radio. So I looked forward to being on radio because I thought my skin color would become an issue. And of course, not because by the time I overcame that, my father kept telling me that I was a queen. He remind me, he looks at me and he addressed me as the queen of England. And I remind you, I say, look, Dad, you've made a mistake. I'm not the Queen of England because the Queen of England is fair complexion. And my father would laugh and tell me, I am actually seeing you much more than the Queen of England because my point and my mindset as a kid back then was that queens are fair and they must be white. But my dad continuously without condemning me reminded me that being a queen had nothing to do with the skin type. And with time as I grew up before I became a teenager, I realized that I was truly a queen. And one of the days, and I bumped into my name, without asking my dad, I realized that my name actually means the reigning queen. I began to speak to myself, and I would tell myself in the mirror that you are the reigning queen. You can be what you want to become. And I'll sit down and I'll read the new script, the one that I actually made a caricature of. And then people will look at me and laugh, my classmates always wanted me to do that because once there was a break, I come out of the class and I begin to read the news. You know what I didn't know I was doing? I didn't know that I was lighting my light. And everybody came to me and people began to tell me that I would make a good broadcaster and a newscaster for that. You know, I didn't know until later years I became bigger and I understood the scripture and I knew that the Bible says, Gentiles shall come to my light and kings to the brightness of my rising. 
You know what that says? I have the light that people will be drawn to it. That is Isaiah 60 verse 6, if I'm not mistaken. And today is a story because 20 years down the line, I've gone not only on the tube, I have done all the broadcasting. Although I had, of course, I had people coming to remind me of my skin color and tell me that the picture, my picture needs to be brighter. They need more light in me. But then I would tell them, you work on it, increase whatever you want to increase because I'm not changing. This is who I am. And they accepted me. With time, I never recognized that any of my body color all I saw was the great light that I have shown and people began to give me feedback of how they enjoyed how I read my news you see this personal story is one of the things that I carry along telling my children my daughter comes to me one day and tells me and said mom why am I dark as compared to my elder sister because you see my daughter one of my daughters looks exactly like I, I am and the other one is an opposite of me, which is our father. My husband and I were distinctly different when it came to skin colors. And I looked at her, I said, do you know what? Your skin doesn't change the fact that you are beautiful. Because when you look at yourself, you actually resemble your sister. You're only the other side of your sister. So your sister needs the combination of you and her to balance and then people will appreciate. Today, I look at my daughter she actually fronts it and tells the world, I am who I am and I'm okay with who I am. I'm confident. You know what she's done? She has lit her light and everybody is accepting her. You know, if you do not light your light, if you do not light your own light, nobody would come into that light to see the beauty that is of you. You need to tell the world about you. Let your story be written in your own words. Let no one tell your story. Let people know this is who you are. Without exaggeration, without carrying airs around you, just so that know that you too are who you are based on what God has made you to be. Let your light shine that men may see God's glory. God never made a mistake when he created you. In fact, the shape of your nose, your mouth, your eyes, your leg, your body, entire system was intentionally made so that God would be seen in that perspective. Your job is to light it and let the world know. Can you imagine if I decided or oh, I felt so bad and never accepted who I was? Can you imagine that today I might not have been the one talking to you? But I am grateful to God and to my Father that kept reminding me that I have much more. That all I needed to do is to kindle the fire that is within me. Now, every one of us has that light. Everyone, including you listening to me, you have that light. Shine that light. Look at the best part of you because that best part is enough for the world to come see God inside and through you. Do not look at yourself and think that you need much more. You are enough just enough only if you can light your light your own light is so important you know no matter how it is if there are hundred candles and you do not light yours do you know the truth the magnitude the intensity of that light that is required for a hundred to shown would never really reach that mark it might look as if you're insignificant. It might look like that one candle was nothing. But the very moment one is put out, it will affect the other 99. You are so important to the world. That was why God allowed you of a million of spams that they say biologists or surgeons or doctors have explained that you escaped to become who you are. God actually has an intention for you. You need to shine that light so that the world will become brighter. You need to shine your light so that someone else would use your light to light his own light. In fact, darkness is everywhere. 
your light is very important only if you understand the need to light your own light. God bless you. Amen.